What's up Mets fans? Welcome back to the channel and if you haven't already make sure to check out our latest video our latest live stream actually here on the channel breaking down Jonathan VR being the latest pickup for the New York Mets as he really saw a depth move to bring a guy on the bench ultra utility man that plays both the infield and the outfield. I'm really happy about it a nice one year deal there landing VR to really add depth to help round out this roster for them but putting that aside here the Mets I'm making this video because they have been showing interest as we know in a lot of different third base options. We touched on all and basically plenty here on the channel and one guy in particular that we touched on over the past month and we are again because some more news has arised with him that being in Justin Turner the former New York Met and a long time LA Dodger as of late so what has been going on with Turner well it's funny you ask right because here we have earlier today Andy Martino basically saying that the likelihood just to clear the air of Turner and the Mets rekindling that relationship with Sandy Alderson especially is the likelihood of Lloyd Christmas and Mary Swanson if you guys don't know from Dumb and Dumber which makes me think of this right away so you're telling me there's a chance. To which I say, isn't this hysterical? Three minutes later, not even five minutes, right around three minutes later after Martino tweets this, here we have Ken Rosenthal for the MLB reporting, and I quote, Mets interested in free agent third baseman Justin Turner, but party's not matching up on years and dollars, sources tell The Athletic. Also states how the Mets also not sure what J.D. Davis brings in a trade. Brewers also owner uh, Mark, intrigued by Turner as well. Dodgers two-year deal remain best bet. So all I, I could really go on and on talking about how comical that was between Martino and Rosenthal but regardless the Mets are showing interest in Justin Turner as the best third base option through free agency should they not land a third baseman option through the trade route I think both routes are still very much available for the Mets and they're weighing their options so that's what we're going to be taking a look at in today's video a very quick summary on Turner and his game because I've talked about him numerous times here on the channel already basically everything there is to know with these latest reports could Turner land with the Mets what kind of deal could we see and everything in between and as always guys make sure you stay all the way until the end of the video for all the details and all my thoughts on Justin Turner and this latest news and if you guys end up enjoying this kind of Mets content want to see more great Mets content like this you know what to do by now smash that like and subscribe on share this video with your friends put on the notification bell all those great things thank you all so much for 5k subs guys it truly means the world to me we're halfway to 10k we've only been doing this thing for just over two months so I'm jaw dropped but I'm unbelievably humble more than anything so thank you again kindly guys but enough of me talking let's get right into this video yeah, I still can't wrap my head around that series of events between Martino and Rosenthal. Like, it could not have been timed better. And I'm not sure if this was an intentional thing or what, but oh my, I just, I'm, I don't know what else to say about it at this point. But let's get right into here quick in regards to Rosenthal a little bit further on this tweet because what really stood out to me was also because of JD Davis and the Mets not knowing exactly how much they could get for him in the trade market. That is telling that the Mets are in fact shopping JD Davis. And if they are going to in fact acquire a guy like Justin Turner, or down the trade route like a Yuani Suarez or Chris Bryant, just to name a few as hypotheticals right now, you'd have to imagine that JD is a guy that they would part with, part ways with first and foremost in those kind of deals. So very interesting, I must say. I do like JD Davis a lot. JD Double D Daners Davis, right? But between going to arbitration with him for under four hundred thousand dollars when they didn't need to do that, I get it that they had all the right to, but they didn't need to. They just signed Jonathan VR for a million more than by million and a half more actually than what um, Davis is currently making. And if J.D. Davis is going to be your starting third baseman, why are you coughing up an additional 1.55 mil more for a guy that's going to be riding your bench more than likely that being in VR? So it seems like that relationship is souring fairly quickly. I don't believe the Mets are interested in J.D. Davis given his defensive woes, which very well could lead to his, the outcome of him parting ways with the Mets. And it's unfortunate. Again, I really do like J.D., but it's been evident that they're in fact trying to address third base. So getting on a Justin Turner here quick, just for everyone that doesn't know a lot about his game, Turner, 36 years of age, has been an unbelievably consistent hitter, especially during his time with the Dodgers after pining ways with the Mets. And during the 2020 short season, 42 games played, racked up four home runs, 23 RBIs, a 307 batting average, of 400 on base percentage, 860 on OPS, and a 460 slugging. And throughout his career, and 1,114 games played, as a total of 124 home runs, 495 RBIs, a 292 career batting average, a 369 on base percentage, a 469 slugging, a 838 OPS. Guys, if you want to know even further about Turner and his game, he has had over six six of the past seven seasons has had at least a 290 batting average he's been really consistent with the bat he's been really a strong on base machine he gets the hits and even at age 36 is a guy that if i'm the mets i'm definitely showing interest in that's why we talked about it a month ago even with that relationship not looking great originally with alderson and turner originally leading to his departure with the mets and then blossoming into a stud with the la Dodgers. but now turner more so in the latter half of his career just coming off of a world series championship victory with the dodgers as we all know it looks like 
like a short-term deal would definitely be a good fit for the Mets and that way they don't have long-term commitment that is really what separates that from going down a trade package outside of giving up significant assets if you're doing Eugenio Suarez or Chris Bryan you're committing at least three years or so probably more to these kind of guys and Turner you wouldn't go past two it wouldn't make sense to go past two there's belief that just one would be enough for him at 36 but if that's something the Mets are uh Turner's interested in then great I know that they're off currently at dollars and terms so it makes sense he's been looking for upwards of another four-year deal or something basically till he's 40 with the Dodgers the Dodgers are not going to go long term with him that's evident and they're just around 60 million over the luxury tax threshold if my memory is not mistaken so they very well could keep him on a short-term deal wouldn't surprise me given how well the Dodgers are now much the Dodgers players normally like to stay in LA especially coming off of a championship but Turner could be on his way out so it looks like the Mets and the Brewers are standing out as teams that are showing interest I could see him landing in Milwaukee but if the Mets do in fact prioritize more of a short-term option and don't go so much long-term in a trade package then Turner really stands out I wouldn't be against this whatsoever I would just be against it I would be hesitant if it's any more than two years because at that point you have Brett Beatty you have decent prospects really up and coming ones that assumably would be with the team assuming that they aren't getting traded I don't know why you would trade Beatty right unless you're really going for a long-term third baseman that you feel there's no room for him but that is in case with, uh, with Turner here so it would really set up the stage you have Turner for upwards of two years right then at that point Beatty could hopefully be your everyday third baseman so there's no long-term hindrance on the effect of the roster going forward you're not going to deal with a terrible contract or anything like that so guys let me know your thoughts in the comments below how would you feel about a reunion with Justin Turner here do you think it's likely do you think that they are very much going to address their base still through a trade avenue do you think that they may not do anything there that they still might hold things off until say next offseason when other big name free agents are available multiple infield options including Chris Bryant at third base among some others please let me know as always guys and if you did in fact enjoy this kind of Mets content and want to see more great Mets content like this make sure to smash that like and subscribe button share this video with your friends on the notification bell all those great things thank you all again for the countless support guys it really does mean the world to me I'm really excited to see what the Mets are going to be doing going forward I expect a live stream probably later tonight as well further breaking down all the Mets and their offseason approach everything there is to know with the news earlier today on VR now Turner and all of your other their other options and my personal belief as to what is next for them so thank you all again guys let me know your thoughts down below and I'll talk to you soon